Shelbyville Municipal Airport, Shelbyville, Indiana. Automated weather observation 2254 Zulu. Wind variable at 03. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 26 Celsius. Dew point minus 01 Celsius. Altimeter 3007. What time? Shelbyville. I've got the traffic. You just pulled over the field. All right. Let's get this show on the road here. Had no takers on the ride tonight, so we're going to go ahead and just go ourselves here. Go ahead and taxi out here and figure out where we want to depart from. Either the grass runway, big one, but we got an aircraft out there using that, so that makes it awkward. Wind's variable, so I could take off right out here in front. We'll just have to see what the wind sock's doing. And it looks more out of the east, so we're going to have to use the grass. And we're definitely going to have to watch this. Mike Papa will be back taxiing for departure on runway 9 We have the traffic on the runway in sight. We'll go down and set up in the far end of runway 9, Shelbyville. Uh, Shelbyville, one Mike Hotel is back taxiing one to nine, or Christian runway 9 at uh, the grass in Shelbyville. Thanks. I'll turn around here and get out. Shelbyville traffic, power parachute, Niner Mike Papa is back taxiing for departure on one way, Niner Shelbyville. Shelbyville traffic, so it's M1 for only five shot holding over the VOR at 2,600 Shelbyville.
So that's why we're heading, it's coming out of the east-southeast, so we're going to head that way first. That way we got a tailwind on the way back. We're going to go out and see if maybe Barry's out flying uh, paramotors over by the park behind the Walmart. Maybe they're set up over there, so we'll do a couple circles over that and see. Keep a look out here. As high as I want to be. We'll go here over the golf course, cross nine, and see if we can bug some golfers or something. Actually, I don't want to get too low. I don't want to get pinged by a golf ball, although I do have a face guard and a helmet, so good there. So I won't go right over the course. Golf carts down there. This is like an oversized golf cart for the sky with the weight. Always forget about that dang chin strap. And it flaps around all the time. Roller coaster in. All right, right turn quad. Yeah, let's go over here. If I gotta sit down, I don't want to sit in that field. There's not a good way out of there, so we'll go over here, or at least I can get to a road. Got wind blowing up my legs. It's just going to get smoother as the evening goes. Sunset's about 8.45, so that's a hard stop. An hour and a half, that's a good long flight for the evening. Oh, tractor down there. I'm not going down to hassle him. That's one way if you're from where you can be immune to me is if you're spraying stuff, I'm not going anywhere near you. <laughs> so he's lucky, whether he knows it or not. They got a bicyclist down here on the road. That might be kind of fun. I could actually pass him. See which way he goes. Betty turns left here. Let's go down and hassle him. This is called shenanigan night. What ten, Scotty? Get us up. Hi, Captain. You cannot take the more.
everybody. You're supposed to be outside. It's a gorgeous evening.
All right. Oh, farmer. Lunch time. Yes. We have a farmer. <laughs> Time to play Farmer Chicken! <laughs> My favorite game. Farmer Chicken! But can you play that with a chicken farmer? Oh, but you know! Hero Week! Oh wait, no I'm not, just tonight, never mind.
Bumpy for me over there.
back up behind him. Stay up, put him on the dust. Should get there in time. Get a nice view of the bill. This is a view. Our dandelion cam should be catching some good stuff here.
for awareness now. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, we can get some nice shots from up here, about 2,000 feet. Nice view of the school.
west at 2,500 descending to pattern altitude. We'll enter left downwind runway 22, Crawford Knoll. Just for now. 
the engine. Thank you. All right. That was wicked, and I see they still haven't mowed this over here. Great. So i got to pick up in the long grass. Thank you. Uh, nothing in the engine. Cool. That means I can take my time. 841. Yeah, four minutes to spare. we got a sun over there yet. Oop, that thing is awful loose. Not supposed to do that. I can lose it. Yeah, that was cool. Good flight. Good shenanigans. Catch my breath here a minute. That's a leg workout, I tell you. Flaring that thing. I have to make that a consistent deal when I'm by myself anyway to go ahead and practice those because I need to learn how to do engine out landings and got to work up to it. All right. Back in a few. Let me turn off this radio. I don't need that, so... Back on the air here. Got delayed. Had a phone call from my brother up in Chicago. He was pretty yakky, so we sit there and talked a little while. It's always good. So got the shoe packed before dark. That's always a good thing. I take a couple pictures here. Fire off a post to Facebook, of course. We are slaves to social media. It's kind of obnoxious. This will be some good video. Set a personal altitude record there of probably eh, close to it, maybe 2,500 feet. I think we were 2,500 feet above town. I have to go back and check the GPS logs. That'll tell me. I flew right over the square. That's about it. I won't go any lower than that over town. You get up there and you look down. It's like holy crap. Where am I going to land if the engine dies? So I kept a close eye on that, and the way the winds were, I had easy gliding distance to wherever I needed to be. So be able to get some pictures from up there. So this was a good experimenting flight. So went high over town. I want to do that to get shots kind of more straight down rather than those real long, low altitude oblique angles, which are kind of cool, but we need some variety. And I also did a whole bunch of touch and goes with the engine at idle. Let me fire this up here. Clipper up, as if anybody's back there. So uh, did a bunch of touch and goes. I'm kind of working up to... Uh, Doing some engine out landings because I want to practice that before it happens for real. And uh, so we start out coming in at a low idle and slowly keep going, less idle, less idle. And you got to time your flare, otherwise, you see, like I did on that one landing. I guess I got the guts to show it. I kind of bounced up pretty good. I mistimed the flare. I think my uh, legs were tired. I got short legs, so it needs a lot of extension. In an emergency, I would pull with the steering lines with my hands as well to uh, help the flare, but I didn't on these because I had uh, one hand on the throttle, one hand on the steering bar. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm out of breath. Sue me. Puffing and puffing after packing that shoe, just like stuffing a lady in a girdle, man. Popping fresh. Stuff in one side, pops out the other side. That's the problem. With those Apco shoots, the material they're made of is really stiff, and they hold air, and they're really hard to get in there. But I still love them. They fly great. So that's kind of what I put up with. They're rolling in in the dark for the first time in a while. Time our stop here. All right. Anyone? We're rolling up. It's looking pretty good. Might be a bit fast by the time we hit the grass here. Oh, I'm going to have to cheat. Oh, yeah, I had to cheat that one. Otherwise, I'd have bonked the door. So, that yeah, was close. All right. Do our little debrief here. I got to feel this baby up. So, fun flight. Didn't get a passenger. I knew I was a long shot because I put the board out so late, but we'll catch people next time and we'll take them down on that kind of stuff and let them enjoy the shenanigans. This was basically a shenanigan flight, what I call it, playing farmer chicken with the guys and just kind of freaking them out a little bit. So it relieves the boredom from going up and down the field, especially if they got auto stare and maybe they're surfing the net or something on their phone while they're plowing like Jeremy does. Hi, Jeremy. I'm talking to you. So anyway, good flight. Feel this thing up and I'll inspect a little bit since I bounced one of those landings pretty good on the flare. Had a little gusty 
wind there and kind of threw me off to the side. It was a little quartering headwind, so it is what it is. So we rolled, we didn't break anything. It looks like we got brand new bearings, so we took one of the lives off the nine lives of the bearings, but man, what do you gotta do? So getting dark, gotta feel up, gotta go. So next time, I don't know when I'll get this video out. I'm try to work on it maybe tonight or tomorrow, but getting ready to go to the track and have some fun for the weekend. So till then, have a good one.